this is a show for kids? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest adult jokes on Victorious you might have missed. Hey, are you in college yet? Bye! <laughs> for this list, we're looking at adult jokes from Victorious that somehow made it past the censors. Oh my god, no, no, no! Wow, never heard that from a girl before. Number 10. From an A to a D. Season 2's A Christmas Story opens with a visibly distraught Andre complaining about the poor grade he received in his creative music class. Andre wrote a Christmas song for his creative music class. <laughs> and it was a really great song. <laughs> but his teacher gave him... Don't say it out loud! A passionate musician, Andre is taken aback by the mark, as he's always managed to get A's in music. However, Jade's quick reply takes the conversation in a very different direction. I've always gotten A's in music. How does a person go from an A to a D? Happened to me in eighth grade. It's pretty clear that she isn't talking about a sudden decline in grades that year, but about her body experiencing dramatic changes. The quip gets a laugh from Kat, although with Kat, that doesn't mean she actually got the joke. <laughs> Number 9. Plastic Surgery in one of the first season's most memorable episodes, Kat accidentally glues a horrifying zombie mask to Tori's face while practicing for her stage makeup class. Oh, that's glue! Yeah, but why is it with your makeup supplies? What's the problem? This is grizzly glue. It's like an industrial cement. Desperate to get the monster makeup off her face, Tori convinces Trina to call a doctor to see if there's anything they can do. Right, it's on her skin. Yeah, grizzly glue. <laughs> During the call, Trina asks the doctor if she needs her parents' permission to have minor cosmetic surgery. At first, it's not clear what she means, but a not-so-subtle glance down at her chest implies that Trina was talking about breast augmentation surgery. Listen, while I've got you on the phone, would I need my parents' permission to have minor cosmetic surgery? Trina! <laughs> Hang up. I gotta go. Uh, what do you say? Then I have to be 18 before you can make About me! This one was clearly meant for the parents, not the kids. Number 8. I like where this is going. Far and away Hollywood Arts' creepiest student, Sinjin has run afoul of the school's female population numerous times. For instance, in Walkstar, Tori informs him that his fly's undone. But turns out he already knows. Um, your pants are unzipped. <laughs> I know. Then there was the time Tori kissed him on the cheek, and he insinuated that he was right on the verge of getting a certain feeling. Hello, Sinjin. Oh my god, this is exactly how I dreamed it would happen. Speaking of which, in Wanko's warehouse, Tori cozies up to Sinjin, hoping he'll let her cut the line. When she puts her arm around him, his anticipation is sky high. Tori then glances at his crotch and winces in disgust. We doubt many tweens caught that one. I like where this is going. Yeah. No! Ew. Number 7. The Shake Weight Unless Victorious's younger fans had an advanced knowledge of obscure exercise equipment and Ellen DeGeneres, this joke likely flew right over their heads. Practice with weights! Practice with weights! I'm so red right now! Oh my god! <laughs> In the episode Helen Back Again, Tori and her mother are seen using shake weights, a piece of exercise equipment that vibrates back and forth while being held with both hands. So do you feel like you did well? I think. I mean, Andre wrote an amazing song, and he said we sounded great together. It's an objectively hilarious device, and Ellen DeGeneres was more than happy to make fun of it on her show during a segment on silly infomercials. Although Tori and her mom hold them sideways, definitely not by accident, the showrunners were clearly attempting to sneak in an adult-themed joke that only the older viewers would get. And to that we say, bravo. Uh, not so good. Oh. <sighs> I don't get the point of this exercise! Number 6. Feeling Wonky One of the challenges when it comes to a show like Victorious is coming up with ways to broach adult topics while using the vernacular of a younger audience. What'd you think? <laughs> you like that? Mm -hmm. This was never more apparent than in the Season 2 episode Jade Gets Crushed. In it, Andre suddenly finds himself overwhelmed with feelings for Jade, despite the fact that she's dating his best friend. I'm tripping out, Tori! I'm tripping out! He later attempts to kiss Tori, because she's dressed like Jade, and admits it's because he's feeling wonky. 
To some, this probably just sounded like a goofy word for lovesick, but adult viewers knew right away that it was a euphemism for horny. Keep it in your pants, Andre. I got all wonky, willy wonky. <laughs> Number five, slapped with a sausage. Okay, this one was just gross. During the annual kickback party at Hollywood Arts, Tori is offered a sausage by Psychowitz, who's manning the barbecue. Would you like a sausage? <laughs> uh, sure, okay. Excellent. Here's a nice fat one. When Tori asks what kind of meat it's made of, Psychowitz laughs off the question and refuses to tell her. What kind of sausage is this? Oh, just sausage. <laughs> you know. Strange, but we'll let it slide. With her sausage still in hand, Tori goes to talk to Jade. When Jade comments on the fact that Kat is dancing with Tori's ex, Tori threatens her with the sausage, only to find that Jade is into the idea. We think that one's pretty self-explanatory. You wanna get slapped with a sausage? Sure. No! Number four, sexually active. In the season one episode, Robberazzi, Robbie suddenly becomes popular when he starts posting embarrassing videos of friends on a TMZ style vlog. Hey, Robbie. Robbie. Oh, hi. TheSlap.com. That thing you did on Tori was hilarious. You liked my pimple piece? Awesome. Rocked. Thanks. <laughs> oh, hey, funny stuff on the slap. One of the videos shows Beck and Jade sitting in a car discussing what sounds like a very sensitive topic. Wait, 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 you got what? I got Beck and Jade in the front seat of Beck's car, and you need to see this. While we don't get to see the full conversation, we do hear Jade turning Beck down with an interesting excuse. While not overtly sexual, the fact that this conversation takes place between two teens sitting in a parked car at night certainly makes it suggestive. You probably didn't think twice about the scene when you were younger, but now it's painfully obvious what was going on. Come on, let's just go, it'll be fun. No. Why not? Because I didn't shower this morning and I had tuna fish for lunch and I... <laughs> There's a dude in the back seat! Number three, oral insinuations. In the episode Rex Dies, Beck and Andre are excited to show off the school's newest toy, the Turbo Jet. Cool, what's that? This is a turbo jet to create the tornado for the play. Meant for use in an upcoming play, we think the real reason the writers introduced it was so they could slip in dirty jokes. For instance, when Tori sees it, the first thing she wants to know is if it blows, and the boys are more than happy to answer that question for her. It blows? It blows. <laughs> blows. Blows, yeah. Mm -hmm. But wait, there's more. Not only does this massive excuse to have teenagers say dirty things blow, it also sucks. Yep, and it doesn't just blow. You flick that little red guy into reverse, it sucks. And when Tori sees the Turbo Jet's sucking power, she quips, Now that is some serious suckage. Number two, code words. Season three of Victorious kicked things off with an episode long parody of the seminal 1985 teen comedy, The Breakfast Club. That's three! Three Saturdays! But she was apologizing. Okay, Vega, now you got one. Why? Boom, another one! Just like in the movie, Tori and the gang are forced to spend their Saturday in detention. While there, they parody a number of scenes from the film, including the part in which Bender teases Claire and Brian for being virgins. Our pristine little friend Kat has never had a taco. I'm not that pristine. Wait, what's pristine mean? <laughs> Are you a vegan? Victorious pays homage to the moment in its own way, substituting sex for tacos and virgin for vegan. Jane plays the bender role while Kat subs in for Claire. Have you ever had a crispy corn shell <laughs> filled with meat? Seeing as how The Breakfast Club came out 25 years before Victorious premiered, we doubt many kids caught on to this sly reference. Okay, I have a bone to pick with this show for using the word wonky in inappropriate circumstances. All right, before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions I am shocked were in the show. And before I begin, I'd like you to have these two large coconuts. Wonderful. You know, their milk gives me visions. I've heard. Very good. Is <laughs> 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 that what you wanted? What are we gonna do? Well, we, we could stay back here and snoodle. <laughs> Gross. Dang, dude. 
That's some soft footage. I don't know, that's what I said. <laughs> I mean, really? Let's be serious here. Oh, yeah. That's a nice foot. Right? I know. Feel my snot. My God. Rex, how did you? You're so big. Have this. Rex, no, 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 no. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Wood this episode featured a number of sexual innuendos, with the title serving as perhaps the most obvious one. I want to be on a TV show. <laughs> what show are you guys from? It's a new one called The Wood. I want to be on The Wood? What's The Wood? I want to be on it! While said title refers to the name of a reality TV show filming at Hollywood Arts High School, it's also a slang word for something else. So it's more than a little cringy when Trina excitedly exclaims that she wants to be on The Wood. Later, we see Lane squirting lotion all over Robbie and Trina in a not-so-subtle illusion. Oh, and sneaking a peek at the wood? That's a double entendre if we've ever heard one. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.